This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you a bit more of an uncut view into a full day photo shoot that I did in Costa Rica some time ago. You will actually see some of the behind the scenes on Irene's channel as well because we shot it together. She shot her photos and I did mine, so if you haven't seen the video yet, make sure you do. Uh, but today I want to show you how we did this full day photo shoot. We started at the beach in the morning, then we transitioned into this beautiful waterfall in the middle of of the jungle which was pretty magical and then we finished off with this tiny little bonus shot that i'm going to show you i don't have a lot of footage from there because it's not very safe for view but i wanted to show you a little bit just to kind of give you an idea of what i shot so let's get right into the video i'm super excited to show you around and yeah let's get going um can we actually get you a bit closer here like out a bit more, maybe like there actually. Yeah, let's stand in this little patch of light. It would be nice to get you to like maybe sit down or something. Maybe sit on the ground that doesn't have the stones so you can get stones in your booty. Yeah. Oh yeah, beautiful. And like lean your head back. Yeah, perfect. For the first part of the shoot, we had this really beautiful morning light. It was super nice and soft. For those of you who shoot a lot of natural light, you will know that the earlier you start, the better, especially if you're shooting at the beach. The sun gets really harsh, really fast. So I think we started at like 7 or 8 a.m. And we went straight to the beach. We shot there for a little bit. And then as soon as it started getting too bright and too hot, we ended up moving on and driving to the waterfall. For this photo shoot in particular, I actually ended up using the Canon R6 and a 28 to 70 lens. It was Irene's setup and I just stole it from her uh, for the day, not in general, and she agreed to it. So I guess it wasn't really stealing, but you get the point. Um, I just wanted to test it out. It was the new R6, I think, that just came out some time ago at that time. So I just wanted to play around with it and see how I feel about it. As you guys know, I've been shooting Sony for a while and I've been also testing Fujifilm recently. So I thought it would be a nice way to get back into my roots a little bit and shoot with the Canon. Small. Okay, um, might try a bit more like straight on. I don't know if you can like lean on the rock. Okay, if possible. Let's see. Settings change. Settings change. Oh my God, a blue Wow. A huge blue butterfly. It's there. It's pretty cool. I'm like freaking out. I was like, what's happening? <laughs> oh my God! A butterfly! Ah! That definitely has to be backlit. Um, I kind of like this little smaller rock here. And I was thinking maybe if you like sat on it or something. Yeah. Uh huh. Up? Maybe. Oh. Yeah, what if you sat down? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And do you know what kind of like you were with Irene earlier? Just like holding it and like sh shoulders off? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stealing that. Yeah. And what if you, is it possible to have one of the legs down? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> and then just like, you know. Uh-huh. Oh, it's just change settings. Beautiful. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, what if you lean back with your, like, if you just, like, lay on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And have your legs straight up now? This leg, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do a few standing. Actually, do you know what? Kind of, like, if you could just be, like, standing kind of like this, maybe? Just against this rock here? If you've watched my channel for a while, you would know that I'm a direct sunlight kind of gal, but I have to say lately I've been enjoying backlit photos so much, and this is no exception. I think the light was so beautiful in the shot. Her skin is literally glistening. I can absolutely see what the hustle is about, and I will definitely be incorporating more backlit shots into my work. I would love one if you're standing back, um, so... Maybe take off the top and just like face the back. So just like your booty towards me. Yeah. Mm -hmm, perfect. Yeah. Beautiful. 
Yeah, that's really nice. Watch the shoulder because it's like really high up. So yeah. Yeah, do you? Oh, I guess. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Are you looking to create a stunning website that showcases your brand and tells your story? Look no further than Squarespace. With their easy to use platform and beautiful templates, you can design a professional and modern website in a matter of hours. Squarespace is perfect for photographers, small business owners, and entrepreneurs. Don't let the lack of coding skills hold you back from creating a website that you'll be proud to show off. There are hundreds of fully customizable templates to choose so you can really make it your own. The platform is packed with features like e-commerce, SEO, and social media integrations, which is crucial when it comes to running your photography business. If you're like me and constantly on the phone or in meetings with clients, Squarespace offers you scheduling tools for your website as well. These tools allow you to create and manage appointments, bookings, and reservations through your Squarespace website. Your customers will be able to view your availability, schedule appointments, and pay for services directly at the site as well. If that sounds like something you'd like to try, make sure to go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And once you're ready to go, use my code squarespace.com slash Anita. For this next part, Irene attached some hair extensions into Kathy's hair. We wanted her hair to be super long and luscious so we can kind of play with it, almost use it as an outfit and so on. So we ended up shooting the entire rest of the shoot with the hair, which was pretty insane. By the time we got to the waterfall, it was around midday. And as you guys know, midday is usually not the ideal time to shoot. However, when it comes to waterfalls, it's probably the most ideal time because waterfalls tend to be quite hidden in between the trees. So it makes it pretty hard for the light to come through. So shooting when the light is above you is kind of almost the best case scenario, even though it doesn't give you the nicest light. This location was a bit of a hidden one and we found it thanks to Kathy because she is local and she knows all these cool spots to shoot at. You had to walk through a bunch of of fields filled with palm trees and cows and there was really no other people in there i think there was maybe like two other people in the entire place so we literally had this whole thing to ourselves which is insane yeah can i get a few more hairs to the front and not the way you are i just same with more hairs at the front yeah uh-huh exactly yeah beautiful And that's one of the struggles whenever I shoot at the waterfall that you tend to get a lot of really dark shadows underneath the model's eyes and a lot of really unflattering highlights that can be a bit too strong. But that's just something you will have to probably balance in post-production. As you guys know, I don't really use strobes. I don't really like strobes. I don't really want to use strobes. So I am perfectly happy in balancing these things out in Lightroom after my photo shoot. And to be honest, the contrasts here were not too bad. It was a as you guys know, harsh, if you travel, that we could go. Going to waterfalls and places like this, it Actually, usually ends up being super like touristy this, and it's pretty much impossible to get a shot. Yes, so I was super beautiful. grateful to and have this opportunity the to actually shoot undisturbed yeah. and not disturbing beautiful. anybody else as well. Uh huh. Gorgeous. For this next part, I spotted this really cool fern leaf just chilling nearby. So I asked my model, could she just hold it in front of her chest, kind of like a bra almost. I always love playing around with natural things that I find around me when I'm shooting. I think it always adds something extra. I also loved how much of a pop of color the leaf added and it just kind of elevated the shot, made the skin tone stand out a little bit more. And it was just such a nice contrast between my model and the gray rock and the leaf itself. Uh huh, beautiful. Yeah, and then head like straight up there. Yeah, uh huh. After that, kind of as I mentioned at the beginning, we ended up using the hair as a bra. I just kind of wanted to have my model cover herself with the hair and we strived to get some more kind of powerful but yet really delicate poses. I got my model to go into the water and stand in the water and then I also got her to come closer and sit down. I have to say I actually really love the sitting down shots. I think they are so graceful. She looks so beautiful and delicate and I just really enjoy how it looks. 
one thing that i will say is i love accessorizing my photo shoots i think it's so helpful when it comes to making the shots pop for this one in particular kathy had quite a lot of jewelry that she had with her which was super great because jewelry is really hard to come by usually and it's pretty expensive to buy so if your model has any jewelry available it always elevates the shots so much and makes it so much more interesting and i just love jewelry and shots i think it looks great so i would definitely recommend looking into that if you can Okay guys, and this is the last really quick shot that I'm going to show you. This is not safe for view for most of the parts, so I'm just going to include a few photos that we took in this part. And if you want to see the rest, you're going to have to go somewhere else. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video today, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!